it's uh it's been a while since we have been had a um, a twitter recap here so we will quickly go through the charts and see what the lovely people on twitter are saying and um yep we're live fantastic um again just looking at what their charts are uh i have some of them it goes back roughly one week here but we will go through them anyways there's a lot of action today um a lot of stocks sectors that is basically uh, on the verge of breakouts but also on the ver verge of breakdown so it's very difficult to predict anything here in my opinion but we try to do our best here so let's start here with any more uh, without any more nonsense from my side we have to look into what the beautiful people here are saying on the twitter recap here on the twitter space so grady here uh, just like the silver was platinum is now sitting right below a historical huge blue breakout line here you can clearly see that here on on the uh, on the log scale here if uh, if you zoom in by the way this is the quarterly if you zoom in there you have an invert head and shoulders with the neckline at roughly 1100 again anything anywhere between you know 1050 to 1100 that's your breakout um, maybe a bit more towards the the high end here um, so again platinum here looks really really good uh, same thing here as you know back in 2000 uh, just at the beginning of the 2000s that's also where you know we had a huge run in in platinum uh, and i think you know gold and silver has broken out yes it's pulling back for the past i don't know six weeks or so but uh platinum here should follow its big breakout so watch for that 1100 dollar level neckline break right there wick to wick you have the neckline there so i agree with uh, grady there the great mart is here you have oil versus the us 10 year here you can see that um you can see that uh, oil breaks out and the 10 year here will follow a bond erosion bond erosion looks set to accelerate and this is not good it's very very bad I indeed it is uh, also as my, as my good man francis hunt has been saying um, you know the bond you know at the uh, the the, the the valuation of the bond market took 40 years to to get to its level and that's you know stair stepping up but it will it will take the elevator down and that's very very scary um a lot of nasty stuff comes with that uh, banking sector that's that's a lot of bad stuff uh, when you see those spikes and there will be nothing basically Yes, you know, the, the central banks and governments can do something, but again, it will only delay the inevitable. Um, so, uh, this is great to hear, the mother of all legit, um, looking probably co uh, cup and handles. 50 years in the making, huge cup and candle. Again, over here, you can see uh, the move up from the March 2020 lows. Again, three years worth of pain, sideways action. Inverted head and shoulders is also in that mix here. Breaking out above 26, which was my big breakout level. Uh, we hit 30, retested 26, and then I think we hit 33, and now we sit at roughly uh, 29 and change. So uh, silver here, from a quarterly perspective, looks absolutely incredible. People will people will not believe the move that is about to come, in my opinion, in silver. Uh, and I understand because they have been let down so many times. But this is different. The, the bottom in bonds, uh, excuse me, the top in bonds in 2020 is, you know, making this a whole different paradigm where we are compared to the past 40 years when it comes to rates uh, and gold and silver. So that's, uh, it's going to be one hell of a ride here. Uh, again here, Grady, ELD, that's Eldorado Gold. Uh, again, he has this expanding, you know, downwards here, breakout, retesting, retesting. Uh, and he bought a lot of here on his servers, fantastic entry. Uh, move up here, small neck down there as well. Uh, it just keeps ripping here. Very good call. Uh, we have some resistance here at this where it starts to waterfall. Basically, you can see the trend line coming up there, waterfall. So we are into resistance. But anyway, as I've been saying here, and what is also my firm belief, the gold and silver is going way, way higher. Um, not tomorrow, but again, over the years, gold and silver will do fantastic. Uh, it's a It's a new world, and... You know, people are calling you know the man, the manipulation of of gold and silver. Yes, uh, everything you can see in the chart here is 
you know, embedded with the mani manipulation. But again, at some point in time, the effect just seems to go, you know, uh, what's it called, has less and less of, uh, of an effect. So, and we are definitely here, in my opinion. Uh, again, here, this is actually silver. You can just see that every, no matter how, no matter which trend line you take, the 26 there was just a big node, boom, blast off. And uh, again, 26 was really, really a big, big moment in time. Uh, I'm comfortable, obviously not 100% sure, but very, very comfortable that silver will do fantastic and miners as well. So uh, Jake here with with uh, uh, this is the, uh, uh, the Russell, I guess. Um, I don't know this exact. Uh... Well, anyways, but uh, yeah, the Russell here playing pinball, uh, pinball today with both sides of the symmetrical triangle, huge. Squeeze here. This is a bit of a short, shorter term view here. Um, yeah, short. Oh, well, not short term, but you know, this is on the daily. We have like nine months or so. Huge squeeze coming in here. The setup is very, very uh, straightforward. If we break above, yep, you know, that's really good. Breaking down here uh, and starts to get a bit ugly here. Uh, but again, the trend is up, and uh, so that is your highest probability. Not to say that it cannot break down, obviously. But uh, cycles fan here, Tesla. Today's rally has likely. So this is today. Uh, today's rally has likely invalidated a multi-week top at the same time. Uh, the, the 14 RSI is about to close at 30, um, uh, at 73 plus. Uh, in the other two cases, it was at uh, at 73 in 2023. There was a huge upside ahead. So unless there's a bearish reversal tomorrow, it's likely to move higher into the coming weeks. Uh, and yeah, everyone was very bearish on Tesla. And also here on the stop stack, we bought that inverted head and shoulders breakout roughly around here, uh, like 180. And if you zoom further out, you have a huge you know, trend line coming in here, uh, going back three years, I think. And again, I think we will tag it. I don't know, I can't remember the exact level, I think we will tag that, push back a bit, and then we'll break through. It's actually a very bullish long-term setup here for uh, for a Tesla that might come to fruition here in the next week, uh, next few weeks, maybe month here for for Tesla. Borak here also bullish on Tesla. He had a, an earlier entry than me. <laughs> Good job by him. Break out there, retesting of his, you know, goal line there and. Yeah, it's onto the races really. Um, again, that I think that's the uh, the big long-term trend line up here at roughly 240. Um, so Tesla, straight out bullish across the board there for Tesla. Here, here I'm measuring uh, platinum uh, and oil. You can see here also a huge you know, decision point coming in here if we break to the upside. Platinum will be in favor. If we break down, oil will be in favor or crude in this case. Um, but again, it doesn't mean that both have, uh, you know, that one or the other will go down and the other one will go up. It can just easily be outperformance by, for example, platinum compared to oil, while both are, are going up. Uh, and I do think platinum will have its revenge. So, Tavi here, Tavi Costa. The two-year versus the 10-year yield spread. You can see here we are breaking here um, in favor of uh, of the twos. Uh, or the, is it the, uh, yeah, and uh, you can see we're breaking out here and... I want to show you a correlation here with the WTI oil here. Same thing, we are peaking above here. Um, we have a lot of resistance actually here, you know, between 82, 83. There is uh, obviously the trend line here. And if, if you were to copy this one here, you can extend it. So you have like a rail. So we are definitely still into resistance, but this is potentially the start of a mega move in oil therefore also energies and uh, and yeah the next week here or so will be very defining for what's to come um, basically we have one two three four so this would be the fifth attempt of getting away from that trend line coming there down there for uh, for oil so uh, if that happens we can easily see you know it will take some time but we can easily see these two pivots there gets taken out huge resistance across here but anyway when you break such a structure here usually you're going back into the highs not tomorrow obviously but you have to start you have to start somewhere good that's all guys uh a twitter recap here i haven't done that in a while so 
So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, these people, follow them. They are great at what they do. They have a different uh, technique, different way, way of looking at things, but I'm, I'm learning a lot. So that's why I follow them. And so should you. Have an amazing day, guys. Cheers. Bye.